What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a look at two different mice from Ponage. Ponage Ultra Custom Ergo and Ponage Ultra Custom Symmetrical. The Ergo version is basically an EC2 clone and the Symmetrical version is basically an S2 clone. So it's two very familiar shapes in wireless form. Let's go take a look. The box contents vary quite a bit depending on what you choose from their web store. But I got separate bottom pieces, top shells, bottom separators and some extra feet for the symmetrical version. With these bottom spacers you can actually modify the amount of travel in your clicks. I experimented quite a bit with these but the default ones provided the best experience. For both mice I got top shells with and without holes. And for the Ergo I also got black and white colors. The Ergo version comes with holes on the sides but for the symmetrical one you can choose with or without holes. But you need to do this when you order, there are no changeable pieces for the sides. I highly recommend getting the solid version, these holes on the sides on the Ergo version kind of bothered me. Both of these mice are actually quite well built considering the modularity. There is absolutely no flex on the sides, no top flex, but there is some bottom flex on both of the units. There is absolutely no creaking, but there is some scroll wheel rattle. On my scale the Ergo version weighs around 70 grams with the top shell that has holes. The solid top shell adds around 3 grams. The symmetrical weighs around 74 grams and the top shell that has no holes adds around 2 grams. Both feel a little bit back heavy, these are definitely not as well balanced as the super light. But super light is in its own tier. The weight felt good for me in game, but I did notice the back heaviness at times. The sensor for both of these is the 3335 from Pixart. It does perform quite well in game, I had basically no issues. The only thing I noticed that the polling rate is by default 500 Hz, you can set it to 1000 from the drivers. The wireless tech is okay, but you can definitely notice that it's not top tier. It just does not feel as responsive as the Logitech wireless tech or the Razer one. You can feel it in game, but it's hard to judge how much it actually affects your performance. I played very well with the symmetrical, so I do not think it affected my performance too much. Both mice come with USB charging cables and wireless extenders. The wireless extender is always good, so you can get the receiver as close to your mouse as possible. Both of these mice have office mode and gaming mode, I'm not sure what all the differences are, but I know the office mode does not have RGB. Battery life with gaming mode is 40 hours and with the office mode it's 66 hours. Looking at the bottoms, the switches for both of these are Telmron 20 amps. The clicks on the Ergo are somewhat mushy and not really consistent. The feeling changes quite a bit considering where you click the bottom from. The symmetrical then again has more tactile clicks and they are consistent. The click feeling on the symmetrical one is actually quite good, but on the Ergo one it's quite bad. It's the same thing for the side buttons, the symmetrical one has quite tactile clicks and there is pretty much no pre or post travel. But for the ergo one there is a lot of post travel and they feel mushy. The side buttons of the ergo version don't feel good to be used on games. The scroll wheel then again is really good on both of these. The steps are tactile, the scrolling is smooth and it's quite silent. Really good in games and even in general use. The scroll wheel click needs sort of a medium force to actuate. By the way guys, we are on our way to 4000 subscribers, if you haven't subbed yet, click the subscribe button. Moving on to mouse feet, and here is a massive difference between the two. The design is completely different, the symmetrical one has two large feet, one at the front and one at the back, and the Ergo one has four small feet. The small feet on the Ergo one are quite bad on rough surfaces. For example with my Artisan High End, it's almost unusable. These small feet need to be really balanced and flat if you want these to work on rough surfaces. So I feel it's a little bit risky to use these small feet, company should be using a little bit larger feet. The experience on the Symmetrical then again is really good on my Artisan High End. On any kind of smooth surfaces, both of these actually glide really well. So let's take a look at these shapes. So the Ergo version is sort of a medium sized ergonomic mouse. It's comfortable 
suitable for medium and large hands, for a palm grip and a claw grip. By shape, it does remind me a lot of the AC2. The symmetrical then again is a small mouse, it's good for small, medium and large hands who like claw grip or fingertip grip, but it's the most suited for a claw grip. Both of the shapes feel fine for me, but the sides on the Ergo version just ruin the comfortability for me. The case with the symmetrical is sort of weird for me, because I do not like the S2. But this shape is comfortable and it's just the right size. The sides feel flatter to me than on the S2, and that's what makes it comfortable. But so how did I actually perform with these mice? Well, I did not play much with the Ergo version because of what I mentioned. But with the symmetrical version, I actually aimed very well. I was actually surprised by my performance because I can feel the motion delay difference, but it did not seem to matter that much to me. Would I recommend either one of these mice? Well, to any European, Definitely no. The shipping is just way too expensive for us. But for people who don't need to pay that 55 bucks for the shipping, these are good options. But if you're usually bothered by holes on the sides, do not go for the Ergo version. The symmetrical one I do consider a really good option for somebody who would like something like the wireless S2. I just did not find many downsides on the mouse. It will be even more impressive if Ponich can improve the wireless tech in the future. That's pretty much it from me guys. Thank you Ponich for sending me the sample for review. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button. And see you in the next one. Where is his head? Like, how many times did I hit him in the face? I think twice like, through the wall. Again, three times. Never had gotten run sprayed that much as I did now, and they they mentioned that they changed it so that it's harder to run spray with rifles. But I don't know. Like never happened to me that much before. So yeah. I think 240 hertz MSI monitor IPS panel really good really good for gaming holy shit people everywhere again is there oh there is a guy there why is he hiding come on dude Camping in the, according to the game. Okay, that was bad. It wasn't a case fault, it was my fault there.